Full as earth is any clay material that has the capability to decolorize oil or other liquids without chemical treatment. Fuller's earth typically consists of paligorskite or bentonite. Modern uses of Fuller's earth include absorbents for oil, grease, and animal waste, cat litter, and as a carrier for pesticides and fertilizers. Minor uses include filtering, clarifying, and decolorizing, active and inactive ingredient in beauty products, and as a filler in paint, plaster, adhesives, and pharmaceuticals. It also has a number of uses in the film industry and on stage. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The English name reflects the historic use of the material for cleaning or fulling wool by textile workers called fullers. In past centuries, fullers kneaded fullers earth and water into woolen cloth to absorb lanolin, oils, and other greasy impurities as part of the cloth finishing process. Fullers earth is also known by the following other names. Bleaching clay, probably because fulling whitened the cloth. Whitening clay, particularly when used to treat facial pigmentation, such as melasma. Multani miti, or mud from molten, city in Pakistan, widely used in Indian subcontinent in cosmetics. Topic. Occurrence and composition Fuller's earth consists primarily of hydrous aluminum silicates clay minerals of varying composition. Common components are montmorillonite, kaolinite and atopolgite. Small amounts of other minerals may be present in Fuller's earth deposits, including calcite, dolomite, and quartz. In some localities Fuller's Earth refers to calcium bentonite, which is altered volcanic ash composed mostly of montmorillonite. In 2005, the United States was the largest producer of Fuller's Earth with an almost 70% world share followed at a distance by Japan and Mexico. In the United States Fuller's Earth is typically derived from deposits of volcanic ash of Cretaceous age and younger glacial clays do not form Fuller's Earth. Fuller's Earth deposits have been mined in 24 states. The first discovery of Fuller's Earth in the United States was near Quincy, Florida, in 1893, previously it was imported from England. In 1939, mines near Quincy produced half the U.S. production. In the United Kingdom, Fuller's Earth occurs mainly in England. It has been mined in the Lower Greensand Group and the Vale of White Horse, Oxfordshire. The Coombe Hay Mine was a Fuller's Earth mine operating to the south of Bath, Somerset until 1979. Other sites south of Bath included Froome, Lonsdale, Englishcombe, Tucking Mill and Duncorn Hill. Although these sites had been used since Roman times, William Smith developed new methods for the identification of deposits of Fuller's Earth to the south of Bath. Other English sources include a mine near Redhill, Surrey worked until 2000, and Woburn, Bedfordshire, where production ceased in 2004. Hills, cliffs, and slopes that contain Fuller's earth can be unstable, since this material can be thixotropic when saturated by heavy rainfall. Topic Historical significance Fulling is an important step in the production of woolen garments, and can be traced back to ancient times. Cuneiform texts from Mesopotamia mention a raw material, imbab bore Akkadian, gasu, gypsum, plaster, literally white earth, which was delivered to fullers for the finishing of cloth. 
There are several biblical references to fulling: 2 Kings chapter 18 verse 17, Isaiah chapter 7 verse 3 and 36 to 2, Malachi chapter 3 verse 2, Mark chapter 9 verse 3, but the materials used to whiten the fabric are not specified. Pliny the Elder mentions several types of fuller's earth in Latin from a variety of locations, each with different properties and therefore different uses. The first references to fulling mills are from Persia, and by the time of the Crusades in the late 11th century, fulling mills were active throughout the medieval world, called Multani Miti mud from Multan in modern-day India and Pakistan. The use of fuller's earth across the Indian subcontinent dates back to at least 1879. While its household use and transportation by local carts in the Sindh region predates the 1800s, export by rail was first recorded in 1929 in British India. Uses In addition to its original use in the fulling of raw fibers, fuller's earth is now utilized in a number of industries. Most important applications make use of the minerals' natural absorbent properties in products sold as absorbents or filters. Treatment for poisoning even given the risk of salmonella, the clay content of soil could save the life of a person exposed to paraquat, for example, as paraquat is intended to break down in soil, decontamination, fuller's earth is used by military and civil emergency service personnel to decontaminate the clothing and equipment of servicemen and CBRN chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear responders who have been contaminated contaminated with chemical agents. Cleaning agent, in the Indian subcontinent, it has been used for centuries to clean marble. As a good absorbent, it removes dust, dirt, impurities and stains from the surface and replenishes the shine of the marble. It has been used numerous times to clean the Taj Mahal, India with positive results. Litter box. Since the late 1940s, Fuller's Earth has been used in commercial cat litter. Cosmetology and dermatology the same properties that make Fuller's Earth effective at removing oils, dirt, and impurities from wool are also effective on human hair and skin. Fuller's Earth has had extensive uses in the beauty industry, both as a cosmetic and as a treatment for acne and other skin problems. Film industry – Fuller's Earth has been used extensively for many years in motion pictures for a variety of applications. In the area of special effects, it is used in pyrotechnics explosions and dust clouds, because it spreads farther and higher than most natural soils, resulting in a blast that looks larger. It is also safer than naturally occurring soil, should the blast spray hit actors. The material was used in the tornado sequence in The Wizard of Oz as the artificial twister plowed its way toward the farmhouse. Fuller's Earth is also widely used by the makeup, props, wardrobe, and set dresser departments, because it is considered a clean dirt, safer to use around people, and it cleans up easily. However, health concerns in this regard have been debated. Fuller's Earth is available in small quantities by makeup suppliers for use in making the face and body appear dirty. It is used by props technicians to make furniture look dusty. Wardrobe dressers use a small, loose mesh cloth bag filled with Fuller's Earth to apply it to clothing to make it appear dusty. Set dressers use Fuller's Earth to change paved streets into dirt roads, to create dust trailing from a moving vehicle over a dirt road, or to indicate a vehicle trail over untraveled ground. Multani Miti is a mild, yet effective cleanser that removes impurities from your hair. 
This makes it an ideal hair pack for people with oily scalps as it helps clean your hair without drying out the natural oils. People sometimes use Multini Mitti as an alternative to commercial shampoo. Topic. See also Sepiolite Medicinal clay Kaolinite